Okay, we're back here on the party at Yes, we are. It is 712. We're here with Cinema Lamour. We just heard uh, one of your tracks, the first track off your brand new album. Yeah, it's true. It was indeed the first song. It's called Oh So Much. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I'm on stage, I often say that it is loosely based on the concept of capitalism. <laughs> And do you want to go further in depth? Because I've actually heard that line a bunch of times, and I, I have no the slightest idea what you're making reference to. Yeah, uh, well, it, there's, like, layers, and there's, like, poetry, and it's pretty intense, and you should buy the record and read the lyrics. <laughs> um, but no, uh, it's... Uh, um, it, uh, it's complicated, man. Um, the chorus is... Uh, uh, and I've got to say it takes one to know and I've got to say we've dug a pretty deep hole um, and it's basically about being uh, super super privileged and recognizing that the system that has super super privileged you is really really horrible and <laughs> very very messed up and incredibly unfair but yeah. looking at it from a perspective of being the beneficiary of all of it so basically what you're saying is this song has is like onions and it's like layers. <laughs> sure, sure. If you want to make the Shrek reference, why not? <laughs> oh my, I did it, didn't I? Yes. Oh, so just to back it up a little bit, we didn't really, really have you guys introduce yourselves. I don't know if you want to, sure. you know. My name's Dorian. I play guitar and effects pedals in our band. Um, my name's Chris. I play uh, drums and a smattering of keyboards. Okay, cool. So, uh, do you want to just talk a little bit about, you know, your band and how it all got started and how long you guys have been on the go? Sure. Um, this band uh, has been uh, playing together for about four years. Uh, we played our first show in November of 2009. Uh, it's just a two-piece, uh, but we use, uh, as you heard in the recording, lots and lots of layers, which uh, we make happen uh, mostly through looper pedals. Uh, and so we make more noise than most two-piece bands, or at least more different noises at the same time than yeah. most two-piece bands. <laughs> There's a lot of really, really loud two-pieces these days. We're not quite that style. It's more the stacked up rather than just overwhelmed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, Chris and I have been playing music together uh, for about 11 years now. Mm -hmm. um, we started uh, back when we were in school in Calgary. Uh, we played our first show when we were like 14. Um, and we were really bad for a lot of years, uh, but we got through like four or five different bands uh, in Calgary, playing a really wide variety of different uh, music that gradually got better. Uh, but then after we relocated to Montreal, we started doing this, and yeah, it's been going really well. Okay. So what can you tell us about the um, your band's uh, name, where it originated? Because uh, I was talking to you earlier, and you told me the story, and I'd like for you to... Shared with the radio, the people out in Radio Land. <laughs> uh, basically, when I moved to Montreal, the contrast from Calgary was rather stark, shall we say. And uh, not to call Calgary puritanical, but it is definitely the cleanest city in the entire world, according to a recent poll. So, uh, yeah, take that at face value. Um, <laughs> It's, it's, you know, a lovely enough place and very mountainous and things, but... Uh, Lots of grass. Yeah, exactly. Lots of grass. Uh, debaucherous is not a way I would describe it, no. whereas Montreal definitely has a bit of that reputation, and it's aptly deserved, I would say. Um, about two blocks from our house and on our way to the grocery store, we walked past a lovely place called Cinema L'Amour, and it was built in the, you know, late 1920s, early 1930s, and held all sorts of cabaret acts and things, and eventually that style, uh, you know, waned a little bit, shall we say, and they decided that peddling smut was going to be the way to go, mm -hmm. and so it became... Uh, a hardcore pornographic theater. That is the only way that could be described. You sit around with other like-minded individuals and enjoy uh, a, a film or two. And they have two different films. They alternate. And you can go check out the posters. They're... It's like any right, other movie theater. Yeah, right out along the front. street. Big old, huge posters advertising this week's films. Little stickers over the nipples, you know. Yeah, exactly. All the genitalia <laughs> is... classy. Yeah, very... Um, you yeah, know, very classy. And this is, if you've never been to Montreal, this is on Saint Laurent. This is called the Main. It's like a major, major street in the city. It is actually the dividing line between east and west. It has 
tons and tons of businesses and traffic. Mm-hmm. It is a huge deal. And so this is right next to a grocery store. It's right smack dab in the middle of everything. It is not in any way hidden off in a corner. Um, <laughs> it's it, also not unique. Like yes. foreign theaters <laughs> there's, too. There's a few like, of them. It is, it is high class compared to a bunch. There it's are some true. of them that... It's the good just, ones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I, but yeah, so the name, uh, like us appropriating that name is uh, partially due to proximity just because it is so close to our house, but uh, mostly it's it's a symbol for all of the differentness that we were experiencing, the change from where we had grown up. Um, it was, the, yeah, the most obvious uh, indicator of that that we could find. Cool. All right, let's hear some more tunes from Slimma Lamore. Let's this hear is it. Empty Bottles. Back to business here on the party. Yes, we are. We are hanging out. We are chatting with Cinema Lamore. We are. <clears throat> We're a very awkward uh, radio show. Should have brought a bottle of wine to the party, I guess. <laughs> I think that's, that's, that's probably, yeah. Anyway. I think, I think the CRTC wouldn't be super down. Yeah, are there laws yeah, on drinking and radio making? Yes. Are yes. there really? Oh, there certainly are. <laughs> we wow. won't get into that. No. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so you guys just uh, came back from a tour. We didn't talk about that yet. But, yeah, uh, we didn't yeah. come back from. Or a tour. sorry, you're, in you're, the middle of a tour right now. Tour. Sorry, <laughs> we're a long way from home. Bye. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, we're uh, we're currently on the the album launch tour uh, for our record that you've been playing songs off. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, it's going really well so far. This is our third trip uh, out to St. John's, uh, third trip across. Uh, all of sort of the uh, east coast of Canada uh, and it's just a fantastic part of the world that we love very very much Uh, people are incredibly supportive and we're having a super good time as always and it's yeah it's really great Mm -hmm. so you you guys said you've you've been to St. John's three times yes yeah and I've seen you guys post on your Facebook uh, pictures of of different spots around town Mm -hmm. what would you say is your favorite place in St. John's to go to and just be like, hey, you know, this reminds me of St. John's. And, that's you know, love it here. And that's tough. I mean, one that definitely stands out uh, is CBTG's uh, okay. on the deck on George Street. Um, that was uh, the very first time we came. Uh, we played three nights in a row at CBTG's, mm-hmm. uh, and it was a huge deal for us to be able to be booking shows in Newfoundland. Neither of us had ever been. Uh, really east of Montreal yeah. uh, in Canada and so coming all the way out here was pretty exciting and uh, you know we have uh, really good friendships now with basically everybody involved in, in CBs uh, and we played there every time that we've been to town and they treat us really well and everybody's always great and yeah uh, so that's that stands out for sure Mm-hmm. But uh, we also just did laundry at the same place that so we've done laundry every time, uh, which uh, <laughs> is uh, is fun for sure. Um, do you uh, I'm really fun? fond of that that laundry mat. It's like, a good spot. It's like yeah. mighty white. Oh, yeah, Duckworth. there yeah. you go. There's, there's, there's your plug. Um, I have to say that this is our first Totenless tour. We what happened Totenless? to Velma's, guys? I have Totenless oh, no, at home. Want to come over? <laughs> mm, perhaps, perhaps. Is it like Toten Mix? No, it's just you. You can go to the store here and just buy bags of bread dough ready to be made into Totens. Nice. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Gold mine. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we we kept going to to Velma's because we were told that's where you get all the authentic and, Newfoundland yeah. food, and it's toast. Yeah. It's pretty it was brutal. it was pretty sudden. Like yeah. we were just walking downtown, and they were like, and there's just, just boards are up, and there is gone. another shop on Duckworth Street called Zachary's that does have Towtons, and it's quite good. It's a breakfast place. All right, so, you well, know, maybe we'll have to go. Shout out to Zachary. <laughs> 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 yeah, there. That's probably one of the best breakfast places I've had. I mean, mm-hmm. I've heard great things about the Bagel Cafe too, but I don't know if they have Towtons. I think I went there on one of our last trips, and, mm-hmm. and I don't think I had tatons, but I had fish cakes. Yeah. Uh, okay. And that was pretty good. Yeah. Um, so, Is yeah. that a breakfast food? Fish cakes? Fish no. cakes? No. Oh, okay. Yeah. No. <laughs> we have fish for breakfast every day. <laughs> Always. Always. No, no, no. No, it's, uh, it's not, but I mean. I think today they were offering, offering a special of uh, eggs and lobster claws. Okay. <laughs> uh, which, you know, I like both of those things quite a lot, but yeah. I'm not exactly sure that they go together. Go together, together yeah. Salt, yeah. cod, and shreddies. Mmm. Yeah. Delish, delish. Yeah. Together. 
Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think it's time to pay I the bills. I think it is time to uh, take pay it off with another song. I was going to say pay the bills. Oh, all right. With uh, <laughs> ads, that's fine. Let's go. Back here on the party on Stage of Mars. Yes, we are. We're in the second half of the first hour. We are in it to win it. <laughs> what? <laughs> You'd be a sports commentator. That was, that was she, that, that's it. We're in it to win it. Goes that's to dynamite. It. Mm -hmm. Boom goes the dynamite. Chelsea Skates air dropping bombs. I did it. I did it. Oh, right boy. there. <laughs> you did do it though. Uh, so you guys have a show tonight. That's true. Down we have a show shit. tonight. We had a show last night. We had the show the night before. We have a show tomorrow. Goodness gracious. It's like we're on tour or something. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we, uh, we're playing tonight at the ship uh, alongside Dodge Band and Make Mean and Everything. Uh, should be pretty fun. I think we're up in the middle or last. I think we're last, actually. I think we're closing. So, uh, yeah, it should be a really good show. Bunch mm -hmm. of good bands. Two of them from here. Yeah. You guys know Dodge Band, Make Me and Everything? I don't know Dodge Band, but we okay. love Make Me and Everything. That's <laughs> awesome. We've had Make Me and Everything on uh, on the party, actually. Oh, yeah, they're great. really awesome so, guys. Cool. Yeah. They're a good bunch. Yeah, For yeah. sure. Yeah, it should be really good. We played at the ship uh, last year when we were out here as well. And uh, yeah, it's an awesome place. Great stage. It um, is, yeah. Tony, mm -hmm. the guy who runs it, really nice guy. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. I'm really excited to see it. I've never been in the ship. That's yeah. it's going to be fun. You've never been to the ship? I just turned 19 like two months ago, so oh, I'm kind of fair enough. Slowly fair enough. Easing your way. Easing into it. The there you go. <laughs> All right, cool. We yeah. have uh, a special offer this evening as well. If you want to bring your grandmother out, we promise not to use curse words on stage. <laughs> uh, that's it. There All you go. All right. Bring the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, just call the introducer. <laughs> Grandfathers don't count, though. <laughs> well, curse <laughs> okay. to them, but not to the nannies. Yes. Speaking of nannies, there are a significant amount of nannies downtown, so I actually wouldn't be what? surprised. There are, during the summer, and this is me observing working downtown for the past, like, three summers, there's a significant amount of nannies compared to the normal, like, months that come in during the summer, because the only tours that come here are nanny tours, like, old people. Oh, yeah, like, I thought you were overrun no. with goats, and no. I was so confused. <laughs> what? Goats? Yeah, a nanny is a female goat. Really? I'm almost positive. I've never heard that yes. before. <laughs> no. Okay. Like, old, like, like nannies and poppies. I, 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 I got you. Now. Not goats. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so if you see a lot of old, old, old people downtown, don't be alarmed. It's just. Just the nanny tour boats. <laughs> they <laughs> import them. They import nannies it's during the summer. Goats. Just goats. We should play another song. <laughs> Probably should. Yeah. Okay. Back here once more on the party with Cinema Lamour. Yes. Uh, we're going to close things off here. Uh, you guys uh, are playing a show tonight. We should mention that. Indeed. Yeah, you guys are playing at the ship. At the <laughs> ship. Yeah. Yeah. If Dodge Band make mean everything, it's going to be a great show. Hope to see you there. And very yeah. reasonably priced cover. Indeed. What is cover? We can't tell you. It's a secret, okay. but it'll be reasonably priced. Trust okay. me on that one. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only asking because I want to know. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> um... What was the last thing we were going to ask? If people want to find out more about your music and your band, where can they take a uh, look see? Well, the easiest uh, place to start is cinemalamoretheband.com. Mm -hmm. um, but really, if you just Google us or search for us on Facebook, uh, you will have pretty good luck, I would imagine. Okay. Um, yeah, it'd be great um, to have people follow us there or uh, just check out the website you can hear all our music online um plus we've got our tour blog so photos from the shows and stuff like that um so yeah it'd be uh, great mm -hmm. cool okay thanks for coming yes, in. thanks so much thank, thank you, you so much, much for having us, us for sure <laughs>